Hey there guys, now Boris Johnson said his thing, um, looks like we're going to have to be going back to work soon. So, I've made a sneeze guard for a shop. Um, these are pretty much made of scrap, just had to get the perspex, which um, cost me about £20. So, I'll get in and show you how this works. So, <clears throat> you know me. I'm going to be building this out of pretty much scrap material. Um, here's an old pine um, dressing table drawer that I'll be using as the bottom. Uh, but the short bit that I'll be using for the top, and this long bit which I'll cut in half and use as the sides. Um, I've got two of these bits as well that I'll use for a feet. Um, I've made some markings up, so. First of all, let's mark out the sides. They're going to be 800 millimeters long. So we'll do that first. Over at the mitre saw, we're going to measure out 800, which will be there. And this is a 160 centimeters long. So cut this off here. Should be perfect. Pretty much, I'm just going to cut that little bit off there. While we're here, we may as well do the top, which will be 750. Mill, which is seven fifty, which is there. We're going to use these feet, which are just a bit of scrap, which are three hundred and seventy mil, but. To make them look a bit nicer, we're just going to put a 45 degree angle on the bottom of it. <laughs> now, this is a draw front, so it's going to need a little bit of uh, work done to it. So, let's just square up the mitre saw first. Okay. So, um, I'm going to cut off the rounded edge on the side. That gives us straight edges. Now we just need to cut off the top bit. Over at the table saw, we're going to raise this up. Um, <clears throat> and then we just want to take off the bare minimum. <clears throat> so now we have all our pieces cut. Um, we still need to cut the sheet. Uh, but we need to get a rebate cut into these so I can go over to the table saw and do that. So I've been making up quite a few of these sheets so I actually made myself a little jig. Um, so I'll just slot that over the blade, raise it down till it touches and lift it back up until it just, just lifts it. So I know that's going to cut uh, and then I'll just put that back over and bring the fence to the piece of wood. Boom, that's that done. Now, I need to cut a groove in all of these pieces of wood. Here. Um, and then we need to readjust everything to get the bottom bit cut. And now 
we're just doing the uh, the bottom. So with that straight edge, um, the blade at the same height, I'm just going to do half of this. So reading the reviews from B and Q on this, it's very very delicate. Uh, this is only two mil thick, and it everyone's complaining that it snaps at the slightest touch. So I'm going to be using 760 mils of this. So I need to cut this up. Make a little mark there. We'll make one in the center and one at the top. Um, so the best way I found to cut this is getting a straight edge. I'll just use my track saw guide. You have to get a nice sharp blade on your knife, okay? Um, so I'm going to flip my blade around, so we've got a nice new sharp bit, and just do light scores, and just keep doing light passes until it's cut. And now if I just give it a slight bend, you'll snap it, and then just cut through that plastic on the other side. And I think that is about as good as a cut that you're going to get. Now I know I said that I wasn't going to keep doing projects which involve burning. But because this is um, sort of reclaimed stuff and this is an old drawer and stuff. I can't be bothered to sand this down so I'm just going to burn it off. Um, it still looks good though doesn't it? Um, right so these are now burnt. Um... They just need a bit of a wire brush, um, but I'm not going to show you how to burn and wire brush these because if you want to see that, you can have a look at the bench I just made because there was a lot of burning in that in that. So I forgot to make like a little window to post some stuff through. So what I've done is I've gone 255 mils in from either end and then about 600 mils no 60 mils down so 200 and 255 in 60 down um, and then I just need to drill out the corners That's your little viewing window cut out. Uh, so I'm just gonna oh, so I'm just gonna clean up these edges uh, and finish these bits, and then we'll get it onto assembly. So we're gonna glue this up, okay? Um, <clears throat> nice and easy. We need a bit of glue on the end here. Two screws. Let's put it together. I've peeled back some of this uh, protective layer because we've now got to try and slot it in here.
there you go guys thank you very much uh if you guys like this one uh give it a like subscribe make sure you guys are staying safe out there wash your hands and all that and these sneeze screens covid screens whatever we're going to call them will be going out to the shops tomorrow see you.